Hello, my name is Nathan Greeley, and I am the Fellow of Apologetics and Philosophical Theology at the Widener Institute. I also teach apologetics classes part-time at American Lutheran Theological Seminary, which is the theological seminary of the American Association of Lutheran Churches. In this video, I would like to briefly discuss three things. First, what brought me to Lutheranism. Second, what I think is great about Lutheranism. And third, what my work as a scholar focuses on. Regarding the first of these things, I was raised in a Baptist church, but I left the church as a teenager and remained outside of it for several years. This was due to intellectual difficulties, but it was also due to my own moral and spiritual failings. In any case, in my mid-20s, I started to realize that something was missing from my life. I was lacking meaning, direction, and purpose. This being so, I started to look again at Christianity, and eventually, I found my way back into the church. One of the things that I realized during this time was that I wanted to belong to a Christian tradition that was biblical, Catholic, and deeply rooted in history. For a while, I was attracted to Anglicanism, but the lack of doctrinal consensus in Anglicanism became quite unappealing for me. This being so, after a few years, I started to look into confessional Lutheranism. Confessional Lutheranism had everything that I really appreciated about Anglicanism, but it also was free from the weaknesses of that tradition. Where Anglicans often disagreed about what their tradition stood for, or what it was all about, confessional Lutherans were able to rally around a comprehensive set of confessions that had been around for almost 500 years. Confessional Lutheranism thus presented me with an endpoint to my spiritual pilgrimage in that it didn't suffer from any significant identity crisis and it provided a set of doctrines that fully satisfied the needs and desires of my soul. This brings me to the next thing that I wanna talk about. What is so great about Lutheranism? Lutheranism by its very nature is biblical, Catholic, confessional, and Christocentric. These are among its great strengths. It's biblical in that it upholds the inerrancy of the scriptures and believes that all teaching must stand before the bar of the Bible. It's Catholic in that it seeks to be in agreement with the consensus of the church throughout the ages. It's confessional in that it honors and abides by the interpretation of the Bible found in the Book of Concord. It's also Christocentric in that it presents Christ to us as an all-sufficient Savior who is capable of providing everything that we need to be reconciled to God. In addition to these things, there are a few other things I want to talk about that I think also are really great things about Lutheranism. One of these things is its teaching about the means of grace and how God comes to us, meets us, and saves us in his word and sacraments. An additional thing is that Lutheranism seeks to be in continuity with the church prior to the Reformation, not a break with it. Yet another thing is that Lutheranism highlights and teaches the great biblical distinctions between the law and the gospel and the two kinds of righteousness. There's one more thing I want to talk about that often gets overlooked, but I think it's among the great things that one can find in Lutheranism. And that is that it has inherited from the theologians of the era of Lutheran orthodoxy very helpful and beneficial ways of thinking about and doing theology. These theologians were adept students of the scriptures who understood the proper relationship between philosophy and theology and how the church fathers and medieval scholastics should figure into the doing of theology. Unlike most recent Lutheran theology, which often is indebted to modern philosophers such as Kant, Kierkegaard, Hegel, and Heidegger, the theologians of Lutheran orthodoxy understood and adhered to the classical tradition in philosophy, 
going back to Plato and Aristotle, I think when we see all of the dangers and pitfalls of modern thought and all of the ways in which modern thought has been detrimental for both the church and our society at large, it is obvious that it would be unwise to take any kind of direction from it when it comes to doing theology. The theologians of the era of Lutheran orthodoxy can show us how to do theology in a quite different way. And the last thing that I want to talk about is what my work focuses on and what I hope to bring to the Widener Institute. My interests primarily revolve around the relationships between philosophy and theology and faith and reason. This means I study issues in the philosophy of religion, such as the existence and attributes of God, the problem of evil, and the meaning of religious language. I'm also interested in the history of how Christians have made use of philosophy and the ways that they have employed reason to support their theological claims. I'm also interested in the history of ethics and how philosophical ethics relates to biblical ethics. Apologetics is yet another thing that I have a keen interest in. Apologetics has played a very important part in my own life as a Christian, and I believe that most Christians would benefit from knowing something about apologetics. For this reason, in 2021, I published a short apologetics book with Justin Sinner that was intended to introduce Lutheran laypeople to apologetics. I'm currently working on a book on the relationship between philosophy and theology. This book will discuss how Lutherans should understand this relationship. In the future, I hope to write an ethics book for Lutherans that will engage with some of the best thinking on this subject in the classical and medieval periods. That pretty much sums up who I am, what I think, and what I do as a fellow of the Widener Institute. Grace and peace be with you.